morning everyone happy new year it is my first visit to the secure dog field of 2024 and it is lovely to be back although it is really muddy but i thought it was a great time to do a little video about some changes that you might need to make for your dogs particularly if they are disabled or elderly so my name is dr helen i'm an emergency medicine doctor and also certified animal aromatherapy specialist as well as an expert in canine arthritis and i love to help people use an integrative approach to their health and that of their pets so I'll show you a few little things. So it is really muddy. I don't know if you can see the ground. It's pretty much like this all over. Um, so with my disabled dogs, I have got Maz there who is moving. I've had to really search for some ground um, dry ground so that he would mobilize and get him walking um, because he doesn't like the, um, the wet mud area. He's only got two legs. Um, he would be a great candidate for having a drag bag because it is really important if you've got a dog who doesn't use their limbs as much, a uh, disabled dog like this, then obviously in the cold weather they can get really cold and he would be an ideal dog for a drag bag, but he would not walk in one. Um, he just about walks in a coat. So I just need to be a, a, a careful with his stumps that they don't get too cold. But I had to search for a dry area. It's still not that dry, but he is mobilising. Uh, Rowan has got... Um, his little snow protector on because it is really muddy here and so this is does help me with the cleanup afterwards but also he's getting on a bit he's got hip dysplasia so it's just keeping those joints dry um evie in her let's get a bit closer to evie she is in her equa fleece that is sort of a heather color or it was um she's obviously got arthritis so these are great for keeping her joints um warm well probably warm before she got it really wet but they they do um get rid of the water quite easily and I'll just take you around to some of the other dogs um, but it make a few changes um, when the weather's like this and things like this so Bambi has his drag bag on um, to protect his little limbs from getting really cold in this um, this wet, wet weather um, it wouldn't be suitable Inky you're gonna come up here with me it wouldn't be suitable for him um, with his wheels he would never manage his wheels in mud like this um, that's sort of one of the drawbacks of wheels. So he's not got his wheels. Um, he is just using his, um, his drag bag. Because if you think about it as well, so if you've got a dog with arthritis as well or they're elderly, just think about how you feel walking through mud. It takes a, more energy um, to walk through mud. So you do need to be mindful of your dogs that have got perhaps arthritis or some other mobility problems that you may need to just um, think about where they're walking. Um, they're just having their own little fun here and just playing around. Um, and I'm just taking it, you know, just taking it easy with them. So I just wondered what Seren has. She's found a ball, obviously. Um, and you know just be mindful of of that and that's the same on walks if you've got an elderly dog and you're going out for a you might want to just adjust where you walk um and so we've been having a lot of road walks um the past week since we got back from suffolk so this is actually probably our best walk that we've had in a week there's bambi he's not very happy he's in a pink coat but he is looking a bit warmer and dry and um, there's seren modeling her beautiful equa fleece there you go because that keeps her warm as well around those hips areas um those hip areas that are a bit uncomfortable for you you're looking very cute um and it's just a question of finding the ground if you want any tips to help your dogs um i have a senior pet um health and fitness um handout that you can see by the link in my bio tonight is also the start of my healthful dog challenge and we're going to be covering mobility um next week i think we cover mobility or the week after um i'm not, I'm not quite sure of my own timetable but um, do register via the link in the bio um, it's a free challenge um, so there's going to be lots tonight we kick off all about immune system support which is actually quite important as well when the weather's like this um, and nutrition so that's tonight so drop any questions below and hope to see you on the challenge as well bye